Okay, well, I don't think you'd really want to be on the water today. Uh, very wet out there. We've seen a lot of steady rain across the region. We're seeing the rain right now here in Newport. This is our Discover Newport camera. Quite warm there, 57 degrees. Coastal communities uh, feeling that warm southerly wind. And here's the view from our Shriners Hospital camera of the Rose City. Uh, looks pretty misty, very wet out there right now. 46 degrees here, current temperature. Okay, so here's the current wind. I'm kind of setting you up to explain kind of my dilemma with uh, tomorrow's temperatures, right? So uh, if you're near the gorge east side, you're still seeing a lot of influence from that east wind, and that actually kind of curves almost north a little bit. So Vancouver also getting a lot of that east wind. Meanwhile, west side still seeing that warmer southerly wind. In fact, if you kind of look towards the uh, left-hand side of your screen there, you can see those arrows really uh, coming more from the south. So that really plays a big part in our temperatures. Here are your current temperatures. Portland Airport sitting at 46. Meanwhile, not 20 miles away, temperatures are 10 degrees warmer in the mid-50s, like McMinnville, uh, Hillsboro, Beaverton, also in the mid-50s. Uh, take a look at the gorge, though. Still very chilly stuff. Chilly air lingering there with Hood River and the Dalles still in the mid-30s. These spots, in fact, Corbett all the way to Hood River, staying in the upper 30s and low 40s today for those high temperatures. So really wide range here. So let's take a look at that wind gust forecast. We briefly get a warmer uh, burst of southerly wind early tomorrow morning, which is going to shoot our temperatures up. But then see how it kind of dies down a lot, especially if you look kind of where we officially measure our Portland temperatures, which is at the airport right there. Then that east wind starts to creep back in in the afternoon. Mmm, that's a tricky one. So I think lots of us uh, will remain in the 50s if you're closer to the gorge or the north side. And I think uh, more of us on the west side are going to see temperatures uh, creeping well into the 60s tomorrow. How about precipitation? It is going to be a dry day. Rain showers will taper off overnight. We've just got a few spotty chances maybe for the north coast tomorrow morning. Could get clipped with some drizzle uh, kind of north side early afternoon tomorrow, but I think most of us are going to be dry all day. Clouds will start dissipating tomorrow evening. And then Monday's a dry day as well. We'll be a little bit cloudier. Notice the rain mostly staying over the ocean uh, tomorrow, maybe touching the north coast, south Washington coast, uh, but we'll be dry until Tuesday morning here in Portland. We're back to showers on that day. Okay, check out our temperatures in Salem. So again, if you're near the gorge, might be a little bit cooler, but south in Salem, uh, they hit 63 today. That was a new daily record for today's date. Tomorrow we're going mid 60s. That would also break another daily record. And uh, Monday dropping into the upper 50s, but that's still really warm stuff for late January. Here's the plan for the Portland metro area tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, like I said, I think most of us are gonna stay dry. We'll see those temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s, depending on where you are. Staying dry Monday, showers creep back in on Tuesday. Wednesday's gonna be your next very wet day. I'm thinking steady rain there, few showers lingering into Thursday, and then it looks like we're gonna dry out heading into the end of next week. We'll also see those temperatures getting back down to normal in the 40s. Amel? Thanks, Camilla.